Hey guys, yesterday in science we talked about the different changes to the earth. You should have written this down in your notebook. It should look something similar to this. You might have um, put it all on one page and you need to do the second page. My class did the top of one side and now we're working on the bottom section. So we talked about fast changes yesterday and we talked about volcanoes and earthquakes and landslides and how they can change the way the earth looks very, very quickly. Today, we're going to actually start on slow changes. Oops, sorry, I need to put that right over here. So our slow changes is going to be our definition or our title right here. And then there are three slow changes that we're going to talk about. The first one is weathering. The second is going to be erosion. Third is deposition. And I hope you enjoy my beautiful artwork here. So the first one that we're going to have is weathering. And when you have weathering, it is the breakdown. Let's go ahead and use my red pen here. The break down of rocks. And this can be with ice, this can be frozen water, which would be ice, this could be rain, it could be all kinds of different things that breaks down those um, different rocks. So I'm going to draw my mountain right here and I have my little boulders rolling down the hill because they just got broken down. And then here is my first rock. This is before. And then when you get ice in there, you've got some ice that hardens right there. Slowly, when the ice hardens or when the water freezes, it expands. And when it expands, it actually ends up breaking apart the rock and it will slowly make the rock crack. So we are gonna say that frozen water, use all my different colors here, expands and cracks. the rock. Okay. So make sure that you remember that when you've got weathering, it is the breakdown of rocks, your frozen water expands and cracks that rock. So we had our before picture and our after picture. All right, so the next one that we're going to do is called erosion. And erosion is when we have like a big mountain right here. And maybe we have some rain clouds that come up here and it starts raining. All that rain, lovely, lovely rain. And when it does that, the water starts going down the hill. And when it goes down the hill, it starts taking the rocks along with it. So it's eroding and taking away parts of the rock that are sitting right here on top of that hill. So when we were writing that, we we're going to say the movement of sediment. And if you need a refresher, sediment is rock. Movement of sediment or rock. The water washes the sediment away. All right, so make sure that you remember that it's movement and that it's washes. And the last one is going to be landslides. And in landslides, 
We're going to get that in just a second. I'll give you guys a chance to get finished writing up weathering and erosion. All right, hopefully you guys got weathering and erosion written down. We're starting with landslides. I had to go help a friend out really quick, but we are getting ready to finish off this last section. So, oh, sorry, this is not landslides. I already said landslides. I don't know what Ms. Rowdy's doing. We're doing deposition. Go ahead and erase landslides and put deposition down. And when we have deposition, we drop or deposition drop. sediment in a new place. It drops that sediment in a new place, right? So if we have the erosion rolling it down and eventually it just takes it, takes it, takes it, and before long that erosion goes into or that water makes it all the way down to the ocean. And when we get into the ocean or a lake or a river, eventually those rocks start dropping and they settle at the bottom of whatever river, lake, or ocean they get to. And where they stop, where they deposit or drop down, that is where their deposition, that's where it is, um, that is what deposition is. So, um, you can also see like a river. This river is going to start taking these guys and moving them right along. Oops, sorry. We could say rivers move deposition or sediment downstream. So erosion is when it's just rolling it right off the top. Deposition is when it deposits it, it deposits the sediment into say a river, lake, or ocean. And then the river, lake, or ocean starts moving that sediment further on downstream until eventually it just deposits that rock in one specific spot and it doesn't move anymore. So weathering, erosion, and deposition are all examples of slow changes. In fact, you would need to say or need to remember that weathering breaks it. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my whiteout real quick. They ran out of space and I shouldn't have. All right, erosion takes it and deposition drops it. I know that's a little hard to see, but hopefully you guys can figure out that deposition drops it. Remember, drops. Weathering breaks it, erosion takes it, deposition drops it. All right, if you need to, go ahead and hit pause so you can finish writing all of these lovely, lovely notes and have them in your notebook and be ready to discuss them with your teacher tomorrow.